Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create this inner shadow effect using GIMP 2.8. This effect can be used in many different ways when creating graphics or in photo editing. In my next tutorial I'll be showing you how to put your picture on a billboard and I'm going to use this inner shadow effect to achieve more realistic final result. Now over here as you can see we have one text with normal drop shadow and the other one is with the inner shadow effect. So I'm going to close this project, go to file, close view, then go to file again, select new and I'm going to use this image size, click OK. I'm going to demonstrate this effect with text but you can use uh, many different shapes. I'm going to grab the text tool, click here and type GIMP then Control a to select the text and type here 350 pixels click enter then i'm going to click this option to make the text bold and also let's change the color of the text to let's say this blue color click ok and then with the move tool i'm going to position the text next i'm going to click on this option to create a new layer click ok and now i want to fill this layer with uh, any color black will work control comma to fill this layer with black color or you can do this from the edit menu fill with foreground color which is black and then i want to come here and right click on the text layer and choose the option alpha to selection then i'm going to move back to this layer make it active and press the delete key next i want to remove this selection and you can do that by pressing control shift a or you can go to select menu and choose the option none. Next I'll go to filters, lights and shadow and choose drop shadow. And here you can experiment with the settings but I'm going to use the defaults. Click OK. And this created this drop shadow layer here. Now I don't need this top layer anymore so I'm going to delete it. I'm going to right click on the text layer again and choose alpha to selection then control i to invert the selection or you can do that from the select menu choose invert next i want to make sure this drop shadow layer is active so i'm going to click on it and press the delete key and again let's deselect from the select menu choose none and you see we have this inner shadow effect now i'm going to zoom out holding down the control key turning the mouse wheel and you can see here that the drop shadow layer has created this transparency around the white background. We can get rid of this very easily. We can just choose the background layer, grab the crop tool, click on this option current layer only, drag like this. This will select only the layer with the white background. Then I'm going to deselect this current layer only option and click here and this is going to crop the image to the original size. So this is how you can create inner shadow effect in GIMP and I hope this tutorial was useful. If it was, subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, visit my channel for more. That's it for now. Bye.